Alright, hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped. Last time I went through, um, well, last session I actually went through the entire first half of the game um, in one go, so that was that was quite a long tre trek, but now we're going through and doing the secondary objectives, so um, first off, we're going to be doing this time trial now, and since we have um, all the power-ups, this will be a lot more manageable to get the best best time it's still possible to get to get at least golds without the without the running shoes but it's best to just wait for it so just run as far to the corners as possible as possible get all the time the time crates like before and not get stuck on things like that but yeah jeez. Yeah, not, not, not too much to say about this. Um, just get to the end as fast as possible. Try not to uh, spin too much or attack enemies. Um, like you just want to make sure you um, go f go to the end and not slow down. Like as much as as much as possible, and just running around the corners gives you a little bit extra time. But yeah, in terms of like just the relics, we just need to do um, the regular crash platforming stages, and then we have the, and then we have to do the uh, secret stages for for the relics. Now I don't know um, if we have um, all the colored gems, because what I'm gonna. What I'm planning to do is basically, can I actually shoot it from up here? Uh. Oh, I can. Okay, cool. All right. So basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through each of the um, each of each of the main areas. Do the do the uh, relics. Get at least golds. And then I'm going to go through, get all the gems in that area. So, keeps things going, and then we don't have to go back to an area afterwards. That probably... Well, that costed a little bit of time, but it should be okay still. But you, you, again, you can technically do this, add this, do these as soon as you um, beat, the, beat the levels and all that but it's best to do it after you get all the all the abilities because then you have a much better chance in cheesing through some stages uh cheesing through, through some areas and doing some cool uh shortcuts and just the little little the littlest things can shave off like enough time to, for you to get like the platinum or the gold so yeah that was kind of slow Yeah, he actually does, he actually breaks the time relics and that actually counts, so that's helpful. I was wondering if that would, like, count or not, if, or if it would just, like, work for, like, half a second or what. Okay, cool. And also, your times from your other, from your other save files actually carry over. So, like, if you wanna, if you have, like, a little rivalry going on with your, with, like, a sibling or whatever, and you want to get the better time, then you can do that, I guess. So, it's all well and good. But yeah, this is the only secondary gem in this warp room, so this isn't this isn't going to take too long. So you just... We've already gone the box gem, we've already gone the gold relic, so we just need to get to the uh, red gem, which we saw earlier in the level. Um... Uh, actually, let me check. Do I have all the colored gems? Oh, right, right. I, I know I know where that one is. Okay. No, don't need to worry. But yeah, colored gems again, always... Uh, you always have to have a certain requirement to get them. Like, they were very vague. Well, the only one that was, like, super vague in Crash 2 was the, um... The blue one, I think? Um, that was in the first level. And 
You know, I don't know how you're supposed to figure that out without a guide, but, um, you know. And it froze a little bit, that was weird. Whatever. It doesn't seem to be too frequent, so hopefully that doesn't become a main issue. Because I remember it happened one time during, I was about to say Agrabah, uh, we're not in Kingdom Hearts. Oh, jeez. But no, it, I keep thinking... What, what am I trying to say? I hope it doesn't become a natural a thing where it just freezes every two seconds. Because I remember one time it did, free, uh, did freeze a little bit in one of the uh, Arabian levels. And I was a little bit annoying. But yeah. Um, what was it? I... Like, again, like, there's only, like, three skull, uh, uh, death roots in a game, I think. But, again, it depends, like, if you see, like, these, the gem paths as, like, death roots of their own. Because they're probably not as difficult, but they still have a quite a decent challenge. In my opinion, and, and it, and they have a uh, music that's literally called um, like stuff like Boneyard Death Root or whatever. Like the remixes you get when you go into the gem paths are like Death Root themes. So you know, there's that too. All right, I believe we're done. So one, yeah, I'm not even gonna check because because I know the others are ju other ones are just one gem each. And this is... Okay, we need to do this. But yeah, getting the, using the bazooka, the fruit bazooka, um, just to start the clock. Can Oh yeah, you also lose your Aku Aku masks, just to make it fair, I guess. But yeah, like, um... What is it? The, um... I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, no, no, no. Like, the Aku Aku masks aren't... Wait, I, I already said that. What? <laughs> I'm losing my train of thought so, like, so easily right now. Yeah. Well, either way. This shouldn't be too, too difficult. I can get most of these, like, gold relics, no problem, so... Alright. Just ignore the wizard. Get the time. Yeah, I think it, as a kid, like that jump the frog does, that always threw me out. Threw me over. Or threw me out. Or, you know what I mean. And there we go. Nice. I was probably just enough, like, just enough time to get that. And I believe you do get, like, um, you get to see the Platinum Times after you beat the main game, I believe. It's either that or it's after you get the Secret Gem after getting all the Gold Relics. Either way. Alright. And this is where the Gold Gem is. Or the Yellow Gem. It looks more gold to me, so... Whatever. <laughs> Either way. Just get rid of this guy so he doesn't become a nuisance. And... Thank you, Invisible Wall. You ruined my plan. Now, sometimes these, like, clinging ceiling things can be a little bit of a nuisance on uh, speedruns because for some reason... They, it has a, it has a problem of like randomly dropping you off sometimes, where it feels like it shouldn't, like, I don't know, like, yeah, like that. I don't know why it does that exactly. Also, yeah, you want to get uh, invincibility here because you go insanely fast. Yeah, did that again. I guess it happens just happens in certain sections or something. Oh, okay. Go 
So far, so good. Nice. Oh, no new time. What? What is... Is that, like... Exactly the same as times before? Or what? Oh, whatever. I don't care. This is... Nope. Alright. And 10 was the... When was midnight run, I believe. Yeah, this is very different from what I usually do in uh for this game. Like I usually do the main game, do the all the relics, and then get the gems, but just to make things more interesting and not have it so you just had to sit through nothing but time trials for a part. I'm gonna mix it up and do the relics in a state in a warp room and then do the gems and just keep going like that just to make things more fresh I guess so I don't think you guys want to sit through an entire episode of nothing but the relics okay just go we aren't going to go through that area just yet anyway I don't even know if it's faster actually I, it could be but Also, I like how they don't bother to pop out when you have the invincibility. And that would have been nice if I had it long enough to get that up there. Alright, whatever. Why am I slide spinning? That was a bad... That was kind of a bad finish, but we should still be able to get it. Alright. Okay. Yeah, I guess earlier it was just like, you were too slow and it didn't... Yeah, because there were already three time, uh, time rec or records on the, on the other stage. And that's, my time wasn't better than either of, either of them, like, any of them, so... Yeah, I, it couldn't work. Couldn't go on there. So this is the this is the sixth warp room, and on on this level on this in this secret warp room there are two levels that are just like um was it warp points to secret areas in previously played levels. So this is how we're gonna get the yellow gem, and this is more or less this this level's skull root path, and I mean it's funny how the Raven themes. Are really the levels that have the ma have the skull root specifically because they have the two night levels, and then you have this, which I think is it's really short, but it may as well be a death root. I mean, I don't remember a lot of them in Crash Two being that difficult, in all honesty. And Crash Four is just Nitro City, so you know. Right. Jump over there! Okay. And there we go. All done. Yep, not hard at all. And I believe it sends us out of Warp Room 2. Yep, okay, cool. It's kind of cool how that works. Alright, so... Six dollars, gee whiz, right? Yeah. Okay, now we can get both gems here. This is going to be interesting, because I think this is one of the few levels where you have to backtrack a little bit. So... If I just... <laughs> I almost got hit by that. That would have been stupid. You want to be careful with that, because... If you're not careful with the super body slam here... You can actually actually act, act activate the clock with the shockwave, so make sure you don't do that. So yeah, you just need to get all the boxes, and basically, when we get to it, we're gonna have to go through the the color gem door, which is 
really like unless you count the uh, minecart colored gem um secret or whatever in crash 4 this is the only time this the series does something like this and it's kind of weird i mean i think it i think it's cool and i wish it they did something like this more often but you know Not much to see here. We're doing the bonus room again. Oh yeah, that's right. Like, if you go off screen, the TNT boxes just blow up instantly, I believe. Which can be a little bit annoying, but... De depending if you want a life or not. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, e either way. Yeah, man. The way the camera has to catch up like that. Nope. Yeah. Still though, these are some of my favorite levels. They have a decent amount of challenge. The enemies uh, are a decent challenge as well like you have to think how to avoid them you can't just run up to them and attack all right i'm gonna save the checkpoint just to make this easier on me oh this is it i guess you can also dub this theme the secret pathway theme because it's just you know but yeah, but this kid was, this is also a, like a regular jump path anyway, so, you know. Yeah, I just go through when I like that. Makes it, makes life a lot easier. Because they can, oh gosh. Okay, this is the tricky part. Like, we've got all this. And then we have this platform. Okay, that was a bit too close for comfort. Then we had to kind of tread our way back. Yeah. This is going to be a little bit annoying. Because I'm not exactly sure where everything is. Alright. Good thing I don't have to worry about the, uh, the things coming down from here. Okay. Okay, we got that checkpoint. That's good. I'm gonna have to go back anyway, so I'm not even gonna bother with the boxes. Alright. Yep. <sighs> okay. Alright, I think we're close to the... Okay. I think we're near the start of the room. Alright, we made it. Okay, cool. Now I hit the checkpoint, and now we don't have to worry. That wasn't too bad. I mean, I wish they didn't do that, but hey. It's funny how, like, the one in Warp Room 4, I believe, has it... Had it so... There was a, um... There were two parts at the start, yet the one on the left didn't have any boxes, so it's like, what's even the point? Like, it makes you think there's gonna be, it's gonna be one of those backtracking things, but it's not. <laughs> it's only there for lives. Like, you, you can get the boot, you can get the, the uh, box gem on your first go, so I don't know why you'd bother going over there, because there's boxes on the right. Like, I mean, you can go there, get the four lives, die. And have the remaining three still with you, but yeah, it's kind of silly. Like, I don't know. Maybe they could have put the the uh, color jump path on the left, so there's actually like an incentive to go there later. Eh, whatever. Now I think that's it for warp room two. Let me just double check. Yep. Yep. If it's a gimmick stage, I know it's done. Yep. 
Alright. Now oh, warping free. Now we're going we're blazing through this. Okay. Did they actually give you it? Wait, actually, no, that failed. I'm gonna restart. Yeah, they actually changed that into an Aku Aku mask. Oh, wow. Okay. They actually changed some of the boxes. Because, um. You know, something I, like, kinda noticed after, play after doing the first session was that. Dang it. <laughs> it's that this game. Are, like. It still like it still gives them out every now and then, but I feel like Aku Aku masks are a lot more infrequent than they are in Crash One and Two. Like I don't know, I feel like they give them they don't give them out as much. Could be, could just be me, but yeah. I, I constantly find new reasons why to to fit why to think like Crash 3 is harder than 2. Like, I feel like enemies pose more of a challenge. It doesn't feel like there's as many masks to find. And I feel like just getting all the gems is a much hot. Come on. I totally jumped on you. That was dumb. I feel like getting all the gems is a much harder time. Not that I mind. I, I like the challenge. Like, the only times when Crash 2 really gave me an issue were, were Cold Hard Crash and all these times when you had to backtrack. And even then, that's not challenge that's good. This is... For the most part, this game's challenge feels rewarding and fair. And this why it's my favourite. And because like everything's stack on stacked on top of each other. I think it's the best has the best level design. I think it has the most consistent and fair challenge. It has the most uh, fun and difficult enemies to overcome. The best music in my opinion. Um uh, was it? I don't know. I just find it the most enjoyable. And there's a lot of... I like the different themes and all that. Or, like, all the different gameplay... Fe uh, ga different gameplay styles, if you will. Mario Cycle, Mario Cycle could be better. But, still... It's only really, really annoying for me when you have to go for the gold relics. Alright. Oh, cool. Oh, wow, you... That's actually a really easy platinum to get. Ah, excuse me. Bah, win. <laughs> oh no, it might be uh, jittering a little bit because I, I'm actually uploading stuff. I don't know, didn't think that, that would actually affect like a program that doesn't need the internet. Maybe, might be, might not be. Oh well, whatever. It's not too, it's, it's not happening too often, so whatever. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that Aku Aku mask wasn't there before either. Maybe it was. I don't know. Uh, yeah, like that. Like, I don't know... I don't know why it does that. Like, that's really off-putting. And it can kind of make or... Like, it can actually, like, break your a uh, really good run of these stages. Like, this game's not perfect. It has a few issues, but for me, they're few and far between. But, you know, when you... When, when you see see something, it is noticeable, but I can I can overlook it half the time. 
Like, that can... That has to screw me over a couple of times, but... It's a... Uh, you don't do it that frequently for me to make much of a fuss about it. Okay. Thankfully, half the time it gives you a... You have a platform right, right underneath, so... Okay, if I didn't make that, that would have sucked. But, yeah. Platinums are actually probably some of the easier... It's, they're probably... The uh, Arabian levels are some of the easiest ones to get, I find. Even though I just got gold there, but... Again, not gonna bother getting all Platinums. But, yeah, sometimes I just go for an Arabian level and get a um, Platinum by complete accident. Funnily enough, it happens most in the last Arabian level. Alright. I'm just gonna have to do this. Can I shoot him? <laughs> okay, that works. Die! Alright. Oh, come on, that was... Okay, well, I'm just gonna keep going. Yeah. Okay. Dang it. Kind of messing up a little bit. Yeah. I'm not saying that no enemy in Crash 2 was a challenge. Like, that one guy... Well, that one guy in the sewer level that, like... Has that like little flamethrower thing? It's more of a nuisance than a challenge. Like you just had to wait there, and and the uh, the um the hitbox lasts uh, for it lasts way too long, in my opinion. Like I feel like it's still okay. Yeah, I wasn't gonna make that. Whatever. <laughs> Oops. I like how they still look at Crash even when I'm dead. Like, they look at the screen. That's kind of funny. Alright, I had it. Yep. Alright. But yeah, Crash 2 enemies, like, some of them have a cool little gimmick. Like, sometimes, like, this in the space, lo space levels, those en enemies, sometimes you have to slide, sometimes you have to jump, specifically. And I do like that, but there's only a few enemies that, for me anyway, serve a decent challenge like that. Like, all the others I can just spin normally and get rid of them without any hassle. But, um, with this game, I have to think of how to approach every single, well, not every single, but a lot of the enemies in this game. Like, I have to think about the wizards, how, like, for the time trial relics, I have to just jump over the jump over the spells and make sure I don't take damage. But these guys have to anticipate this uh, swing and make sure like I jump like s jump well enough so the attack doesn't hit me. Dang it. Seriously, man. <laughs> it almost happened again. Oh man, yeah, this is actually kind of a difficult level to speedrun. But yeah, even though you don't have to, there's no, e there aren't any enemies where you have to slide under. Um, that doesn't make the, these enemies any less like fun or difficult to avoid. Like every single enemy in this game is some is a challenge in one way or another, and I like that. Except maybe the goats, like. I, I could do without. Well, the, this is a theme for level level uh, level one, the first level you're probably gonna go to. So, hey, I guess it makes sense. Although I don't, I think the frogs are the first enemy you find, and they're uh, easily harder than the than the goats are. So, whatever. But yeah, I just like how you have to think on about how you approach every enemy, and you know that's not something I can say for. The first two games.
Like every I I find new things to appreciate about this game like nearly every day. Nice. Like I maybe two is your favorite. I know a lot of people like two more than this because it has a lot more of the general platforming and not and no like vehicles and gimmicks and stuff like that. And that's fine. But you know, maybe I enlightened I enlightened you a bit of why I think Crash Free is my it, why I think Crash Free is the best personally. Like some of it, yes, I do have a lot of nostalgic connections to this game, and it's one of the f one of the first games I played. So you know, I have a lot of attachment to this game because of that. But um, you know, I just really like this game. <laughs> Like, I think it, every, I still think it holds up today, not even talking about nostalgia reasons, like, I legitimately still think it's, excuse me, um, one of the best games, one of the best platformers out there, like, again, it's not perfect, like, um, they should have completely removed any sense of, um, backtracking, but, you know, it, it's, it's infrequent at least and even though I do like the uh, the uh, gimmick stages or whatever you want to call them I will admit that they don't always have the best controls and they could have been ironed out a bit but for all the stuff in this game I think I think they did it as base basically as well as they could have for the, for the time anyway and the Seeing as the fact that they made a release a crash game every year, you know, that's kind of speaks volumes. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oops! Didn't mean to do that. All right, at least it's right here. But yeah, you know um the you remember those secret areas in Crash 2 where you had to jump on a specific spot to uh, activate a war point. Um, there are two sections like that in this game. Well, two areas like that in this game. Um, like the and then there's the two secret secret areas to previous level. Uh, previously played levels in the sixth warp room, which I guess it would have been better if they had like a um, was it had it so those two levels were locked or something, and they were unlocked as soon as you were uh, found the secret secret found the gate the uh, secret to the level or whatever. Well, if they did that, I, I guess there's also the fact of they would have to do that f with these two secret levels as well, and that would make it make the sixth warp room has seven levels in instead of five, and that might be a bit, little bit weird to do. So I can understand why they didn't do that, but ow, <laughs> you know, I it would have been nice though, like ha having that because then you wouldn't have to keep going f to do the secret to get to the secret levels so you know they're not gonna I, I highly doubt they're gonna change that in end same trilogy but it would be nice so you don't have to keep doing the secret over and over they don't they aren't really hard to do and they're really easy but either way also I'm not gonna hit that because over here a bunch of lives I mean, it's not as much as heavy machinery or uh, castle machinery or whatever the hell that level was. Um, we, we, we just went up to, um, where is it? Well, we just went up to um, the green part, green gem path as a start and got like 50 lives. That was hilarious. Like, there aren't even any boxes up there, so you don't even need it. I mean, you can get the green gem before then, so, you know, 
And I just realized I have no Aku Aku masks. So this is a little bit worrying here. Okay. Yeah, I don't know where when those guys are going to pop up. So that's kind of scaring me a little bit. Alright. That gives me an extra hit point. So that's nice. Okay. Okay. Alright. Nope. Okay, we're back here. Okay. And I'm not going to take any chances with this guy. So you die. But yeah, um, I kind of wish they there were like those t secret, two more secrets at least to find because there's only the only two in this game are in this warp room, and like they could have spread it out, spread the two out more, or again make the secret areas to the first Arabian stage or the second one that leads to one of the future stages, like. They could have made those, like, secret areas to find. And made it so all four secret... All four of those secrets could be activated, accessed any time via War Room 6. And even though it would have looked weird with seven buttons... I mean, you already have, like, six when you have the boss... When you, uh, defeat the boss and all that, so... <laughs> oh, good. Good times. Good times again, the trice triceratops out. But yeah. Just my two cents about that. I kind of dragged that subject on a little bit, but what are you going to do? I do like the super belly flop. Like, as... Um, even though you, you don't really use it that much, um, I still really like it. I just like the, uh... Oh, okay, you can't go in there. That would've been cool. Okay, we should... Okay, I'm not even gonna run, actually. Because... Well, as too much. Just make sure he gets everything. I will say, like, the these chasing segments are probably the easiest in the series. No, no, not the easiest in the series, but the easiest in the trilogy overall. So I'll give... I'll... I'll, I'll give people that. They, are, they aren't too difficult. Alright, so we've done, done that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the two secret levels 